to Reading Represents. My name is Miss Hannah. I work with Chesapeake Public Library and I am so glad you have joined us today. Let's start by singing a welcome song. It goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I hope that you're feeling happy and ready to learn and read books and play together. If you are feeling happy, maybe you'd like to stand up and sing If You're Happy and You Know It with me. The song is gonna have clapping our hands, then we're gonna wave our arms, and then we're gonna pat our knees. Do you know where your knees are? Can you give them a pat? Good job. Okay, so if you know the words to If You're Happy and You Know It, you can sing along with me. And it goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Arms are next. Can you swing them? If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. Good job. If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, swing your arms. Now find your knees. You can't see mine, but I bet yours are down there. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. One, two. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. One, two. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. One, two. Great job. Have a seat and let's get started. Bird Show, written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale, published by Peachtree Publishing Company, Incorporated. Let's learn about lots of different types of fun birds. I soar through the sky, and like birds everywhere, I'm decked out in feathers and wear them with flair. I boast an outfit of every hue. My coat has one color. My jacket has two. I flaunt a full skirt of milky white lace. My apron is yellow. My dress has a face. I sport a vest that is dappled with dots. My suit has white speckles. My headdress has spots. I flash a tailcoat with curly Q flips. My train has two paddles. My fan has sharp tips. I don an elegant, free-flowing gown. My scarf stripes are curvy. My plumes form a crown. All of us dress in our own special way. And put on a fashion show every day. Birds are the only living animals that have feathers. Most females have dull colored feathers and fewer markings, so predators won't spot them while they care for their chicks. Those are the babies. Most males feature brighter feathers to attract a female mate. Plain or showy, birds provide a dazzling display. The end. Let's do a rhyme together about colorful birds. So I have some birds and we're gonna put them up here on the flannel board and do a little rhyme together. Are you ready? Here's our first bird. Yellow bird, yellow bird, high up in the tree, 
How many yellow things do you see? What color is our bird? Yellow. Good job. All right, here is our next bird. What color is it? That's right, it's blue. So we're going to put that here and we're going to say blue bird, blue bird, high up in the tree. How many blue things do you see? And that's one, two birds. And now we have this one. What color is this bird? It's red. We're going to put that one here. Red bird, red bird, high up in the tree. How many red things do you see? And how many bird friends do we have? One, two, three. Good job. Here is our next bird. What color is it? It's green. Let's put our green bird right here. Green bird, green bird, high up in the tree. How many green things do you see? Let's count our birds. One, two, three, four. All right, we have one last bird. What color is it? It's orange. So we'll pop it right here. Orange bird, orange bird, high up in the tree. How many orange things do you see? And now we're going to count all of our birds. We have a whole flock. One, two, three, four, five. Five birds today in a tree. And I think it's time for them to fly away. So can you count backwards with me? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and none. Bye, birds. Did you know that different types of birds use their wings in different ways when they fly? We're going to sing a song about it today. So can you pretend that your arms are wings? And we're going to put them up high in a letter V, like a vulture. And then we're going to stretch them out straight for a hawk. And then to be a seagull, we're going to soar through the sky slowly like this. And then to be a duck, we're going to bring our wings in and flap really fast. Because when ducks fly, they flap really fast. We're going to sing our song through twice, and you can do the arm motions and maybe even sing with me. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Arms up in a V for a vulture, stretched out straight for a hawk, never in a hurry for a seagull, always in a hurry for a duck, quack, quack. Let's try that again. Arms up in a V for a vulture, stretched out straight for a hawk, never in a hurry for a seagull, always in a hurry for a duck, quack, quack. Good job. Next time you see birds flying in the sky, look and see if they're flying with their wings up high or out wide or flapping really fast. Spots in a box. Written and illustrated by Helen Ward. Published by Templar Books. A guinea fowl without any spots just wants to fit in, so he orders some spots. But will the spots in the boxes be the right spots for him? There once was a guinea fowl without any spots, which made him feel odd, because the others had lots. So, he wrote a short letter and sent it away. He asked for some spots. Please send spots. They arrived the next day in a promising package tied up with string, which he hoped would be full of just the right thing. But instead of the right kind, these spots were all wrong. A big disappointment, too tall and too long. Soon, more spots arrived. Too sneezy, achoo, too small. Then spots that turned out to be no spots at all. Spots that lit up, useful only at night. 
and some that were simply too sparkly and bright. Connect the dot spots and splat strips and blots. Inky font dots and eye topping spots. Ladybug, leopard, freckles, moles. Spots meant for all sorts of other things spotted. Then a box of knot spots that got him quite knotted. Oh no, he's all tangled. And just when he thought there were no more surprises, that he'd seen dots and spots in all colors and sizes, came spots that were wrong in the right kind of way. He decided to wear them the very next day. So the best spots to choose, if it's friends that you seek, are the spots that you find put a smile on your beak. Ooh, he's glittery. What fun. The end. Have some boxes on the table next to me and I think there might be somebody hiding inside the boxes. Should we find out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's start with this box. All right, let's see. What shape is this box? This is a circle. It goes around and around and the lid is a green color and it has these beautiful flowers on the side. And I think, I think there's somebody in there. Let's see who it is. Oh, this is a type of bird. This is a blue jay. Look at that blue jay. It has wings for flying, a beak to eat seeds, and a fun little tail. Look at that blue jay. All right, we're gonna tuck that blue jay back into its box and put him right here. And our next box looks like this. It's very shiny. What color is it? That's right, this is silver. And let's count the sides, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides, which make it a hexagon. So this is a silver hexagon and there's somebody inside. Let's see who it is, are you ready? Ooh, this is a really colorful bird. It lives in jungles around the world and it can squawk. It's a parrot. Look at all those colors. So bright and vibrant. Did you know that parrots can learn how to talk just like we do? Yes. So let's tuck this parrot back into its box and put it over here next to the blue jay. So we have two bird friends and one more box. What color is this box? It is a very shiny purple and the top is round just like our other box, but it is very tall. So this is called a cylinder and there's somebody hiding inside our purple cylinder. Should we see who it is? Who can it be? Oh, this bird says, who, who, who? and is awake at night, which means it's nocturnal. What kind of bird says, hoo, hoo, and is awake at night? It's an owl, look at that. And this one is a snowy owl. So it has white feathers to blend in with the white snow. And we're gonna put our white snowy owl next to our very colorful parrot and our blue jay, and that's all the birds that we have today. Do you know the nursery rhyme, Two Little Blackbirds? You can use your fingers and pretend they're birds, and I'm going to use my puppets. So I have two little puppets, Jack and Jill, and we're gonna sing the nursery rhyme together. Would you like to help me? Okay, great, it goes like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, hi. 
and one named Jill. Hi! Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. And come back, Jill. Now, we're going to take our blackbirds and we're going to put them up high on a cloud. Can you put them up high? Hold up your fingers. Good job. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One sings soft and one sings loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud. Come back soft and come back loud. Now we're going to take our blackbirds and we're going to put them in a row, one behind the other. Can you do that with your fingers? Here we go. Two little blackbirds sitting in a row. One flies fast and one flies slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast and come back slow. Great job. Thanks for singing with us. Thank you for joining us with Reading Represents. I hope you had a great time. Let's sing our goodbye song for today. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. Yes, it's time to say goodbye for today. Can you wave your arms like this? Bye. Can you blow a little kiss? Mwah. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. See you next time.